absolute most mild winter ever. It's just been amazing. So today is a perfect day to be outside. The weather's been great, so we're gonna take the time out today and run the gas line under the house. The gas line's gonna feed the uh, oven, the cooktop, temporarily feed the dryer and the hot water heater. Those will eventually be powered off the wood-fired boiler outside. Yes. Right? Yes, which is not yet installed, no. but um, hopefully, you know, down the line, like several months, next fall, something like that, we will get that out here and get it installed. Yeah, so the dryer um, actually needs a, I guess, a coil in the back that has hot water run through it. It's going to be off the boiler. That's how you're going to dry the clothes. Yes. And we actually need a tank for the boiler to run that also. So we can't buy a tankless one right now. Um, we wouldn't be able to I guess uh, fit that to work with the boiler. So we've got to get one with a tank, yes. not, not a tankless. And of course, in nice weather, spring and summer and whatnot, I can always dry the clothes outside on a clothesline um, if we don't want to be firing up the boiler in those months. But we do need this gas We can gas still run it off gas though then. Well, yes, we could. So. And we need the gas line installed before we can complete the kitchen. So um, yeah, take advantage of the beautiful day. You guys might nice have noticed here. that we got all of these stumps are gone and out of the way from the front of the house. Made a huge difference. <laughs> Actually, we had a, had a neighbor come down and take care of it, and it cost us less to pay him to do it versus it was for me to make, um, run a machine. Yes. Like half the cost. Yes. So. Yeah. And with the size of his machine, he was able to knock it out in no time. So like that was four hours. Really, really awesome. Yeah. So farm's looking good. Everything's good. Yeah. So let's get this pipe installed. All right. Cool. So here's the plan. We're gonna screw some two bys across this to here to here from the joist to joist. And we're gonna go every eight feet, we're gonna put these up and we'll start getting hangers up. And then we're actually gonna drill, if you look at that beam bed, we're gonna drill through that beam where it's sitting on top of the concrete. That beam actually holds the center of the floor, but it's not holding the house up. The house and the roof, everything gets held up from the outside beams. That just holds the center of the floor. All right, so, but, We'll start with the hangers and get that going, then we'll start putting the pipe up. Thank you. Next side, hop over. All right, watch the hump on your back now. This is the worst. What is? This project, I don't like it. You're probably worth scraping that hump. <laughs> Once we get out of this portion right here, babe, we can make that turn, we'll be rolling. We have, we'll have a lot more room, especially you. Keep in mind, babe, we gotta do insulation here too at one point. I know. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm gonna sub that out. Yeah, meaning your husband. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <sighs> You sub out dinner every night, so I think it's fair. All the 2x4s are up to support the hangers. We're going to turn to 90 and go towards the front of the house. We're actually going to hang those off the bottom of the floor joists. The reason why I put the 2x4s up, because I wanted to uh, run the pipe straight through the room we're, we're starting off in. It's going to branch out two different ways, one for the hot water heater and the other one for the dryer. Pipes on this, thread that thing on, pipes on this guy, thread them in, and done. And now I have no pipe wrenches, I'm an electrician, so I use channel locks for everything. <laughs> so. At least it's not Teflon tape, so you can't mess this up. 
You know? <laughs> you sure you got enough on there? <laughs> I mean, it's probably a little too much, right? I love you too. I love you too, sweet pie. I love you, I love you terribly. Yes. <laughs> Making these other pieces, we're gonna start putting it on, putting it together, screwing it together, and uh, get going. So, I need you to go out there and hand me that pipe real quick. We've learned a lot of new skills during this build, and now we're both stepping our game up thanks to the online classes offered by Skillshare that give support to fellow learning lovers like us who have busy lives but also want to grow and expand our skill set. This means that even if you have a busy schedule like Josh and I, you can find a class that will fit your routine, like the class I'm taking with Dandon Liu, filmmaking from intermediate to advanced seven things you need to know where I can learn more about color grading and lighting. But that's not all. There's also a class on topics like sustainability, how to set and achieve your goals, and tips and tricks on milling lumber with a subscription costing less than $10 a month. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and helping mm -hmm. to support the time and effort that creators like us put into creating free content for our viewers. And since they are sponsoring us, they are also offering a free trial of their premium membership for the first 500 of you that sign up and start exploring your creativity. So now mm -hmm. let's get back to the build. All right. Now that portion's done, so I'd like to uh, you probably just get, keep going and branch out after. No, we should probably branch out now and get a support here, a support there. Here, we need to support it here. <laughs> Good now, get something here. Okay. Come out, support it. Yeah, right let's finish this side. Breeze and bean, because once we start twisting that stuff on, those two pipes are going to hold this thing straight. Right. So it won't twist. Right. If I start twisting and not paying attention, it's going right. to go up and we're going to have a disaster. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Good plan, boss. Oh, thank you. Three and yeah, a five.
Next day, we're gonna connect the pipe underneath. It goes up to the cooktop and also the oven. Okay, rule of thumb, don't push the other end of the pipe down into the mud or the dirt like you're doing. Babe, I get the dirt out of here first. It's not on, if you don't, that ends. <laughs> okay, I mean, he, oh, the reason oh, there's mud in that is because you was sitting on it. You were completely sitting on it, rubbing it into the mud. There you go. Way to correct your mistake, Josh. Yeah, work that pipe. Yeah, we're good. good. You're, you're wrenching it in a proper way. <laughs> Keep on wrenching it, girl. You got it. Yes, it's all my beard too. Hey! I wish I had a pipe wrench. You know? Mm. Yeah. Our gas line comes through here. It actually hits this T and goes up to the dryer. When I was talking to the guy who's gonna bring out the tank and hook the, the tank up and do all that stuff, they actually gotta come out here and uh, test everything to make sure there's no leak. So I'm not gonna do that, but they will test it before they hook up. But he told me, I don't know this stuff, I'm not a, I'm an electrician. He told me, wherever you have an appliance, like a dryer or a hot water heater, you need to do a T with a drop down like that. So if any debris comes through, the debris will go down instead of going up into your uh, equipment. This is the last thing we had to do. Now that it's done, that's it. All the pipe is run under the house. Uh, we hit the dryer, water heater, range range cooktop and stove so next step we got to dig from the house over to the powerhouse we're going to put the tank out back behind there that's what's going to sit yes but before we do that we're going to head back inside and get some more work done yep. um, on the interior of the house we just kind of wanted to take advantage of that nice weather yes. we had. now it's cold yeah it was snow about five minutes ago too so <laughs> yeah it's kind of random so um, yeah, we've had a lot of things going on, not just this, but we've also been documenting a lot of the farm stuff going yes. on. Cause, a lot of um, big things happening there. Yes, so be on the lookout for those videos. And I guess that's it. That's it, that's all I got. Okay, cool, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks guys, see ya. <laughs> We're in tight, tight quarters right now, so I'm saying. I'm, I'm aware of that and I'm also downwind for me, so it's, it's not really working out in my favor. You know, it doesn't work out your fa in your favor. What's that? You can't move very well in, uh, I'm in close, I'm close quarters. I'm agile. I'm agile. How agile. agile. Yeah. Josh, I can, I can you're slant. starting to I feel can, the pressure. I could buy some you right now. No, you cannot. I could too. No. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I can't ever get you when you're able to get out. But you're too big. <laughs> you're too big. You're too big to move. <laughs> you aren't. I've been working him so hard on the farm that uh, he's actually losing weight, despite his little Debbie habit. That's the problem with my habits, <laughs> right? Yeah, but today's a good day for Josh. He's gonna be laying lots of pipe. Oh, you know I'm getting it in. <laughs> <laughs> the belly crawl. Oh yeah.
Don't worry, Josh. I'll get the grease and help you squeeze through if you need, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you all right there, buddy? <laughs> I'm bouncing on these freaking boards. Wild. Wonderful. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> Two and 13 sixteenths of an inch from this side over. Okay. Like that in the center, okay? Yes. 13 sixteenths. Okay. What was the number? Two and 13 sixteenths. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <it's> stop. <laughs> 13 sixteenths of an inch. Okay. Two and 13 sixteenths. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Right there. I'm, I'm sorry, I need six eighths. Huh? Six eighths of an inch. <laughs> six, six eighths of an inch. <laughs> Alright, just, just do two inches of center. <laughs> be fine. Just do two inches. Two inches is fine. Good enough. <laughs> And she snorted. <laughs> Six eighths of an inch. No, you said seven inches now. I'll give you eight tonight, okay? <laughs> 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 Alright, you know, I've heard that sound before. I guess I'm trying to push you into the truck, but it's from. You can't you, you, you can't lift that leg up to get on that seat, you know what I mean? If we had the proper tool, the the uh, the pipe wrench, we would have had this problem, but we gotta work like an electrician, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 That's also the sound that she makes by pushing into the truck. <laughs> <laughs>